Aquaculture is the rearing or the production of marine species or freshwater species, basically in a production system. Some may be a little more crude than others, um, some may be almost natural in that sense, but it is it's generally the growing of aquatic species in water. The, the passion now is greater than I think when I first started. The world wild catch is diminishing and more and more we are, uh, as, a, uh, as a human race we have to find opportunities to feed ourselves outside of the natural catch and um, I think definitely the, 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 the drive or the, the interest has, has more or less been keener now than it was back, back when I first started. In terms of the other sources of fish and fish protein being, becoming challenged because of poor management of the natural resource as well as pollution and stuff like that. I anticipate that if, if we don't get more people involved in growing tilapia and we don't get more people involved in consuming tilapia, we may soon have a, an issue where fish protein is no longer part of our menu or our diet in that sense. I have been in aquaculture now for the mo most part of 20 years. As you notice in the background, we grow in fish in cages. This system is really novel to Trinidad and Tobago. Um, it's an opportunity to be a lot more conservative because we're not draining the pond and we fill in the pond in order to harvest the fish. We have the fish contained in a cage, so we grow them in the cage and when time to harvest, it's, it, it's readily available in that sense. It also allows us to stock at a higher density so we could also push the envelope a little bit in terms of being a little more productive in that, capa in that capacity. We could process our own fish. We have developed a, or established a processing facility. And more recently, we have brought in a feed mill so that we can soon be making our own feeds. The opportunity with making our own food feeds uh, is, is really exciting for me from the standpoint that um, we intend to use only local materials. So we would not be dependent on the foreign exchange in order to, to sustain this farm in time to come. Tilapia has been more popularly presented on the market as a filet. So the average person who wants to consume tilapia believes that they must eat the flesh without any bones. The opportunity is really one in terms of product and product development. We brought a, a deboning machine that allows us to remove all the bones from the fish. We also brought a, a ball machine so that we could make fish balls, especially for the, the younger population, children. Spaghetti and meatballs is a big sell. And so it, I am hopeful that in time to come, Trinidad and Tobago could change its taste pattern. We also have the, um, the intention to do like sausages, and burgers to go alongside. So those, those value-added products, I'm hopeful that those things will really help develop the, the, the opportunity for, ta for consumption of tilapia in that regard.
this farm has the capacity for 70,000 fish a day. And I'd really like to achieve that within the next five years. Um, that will certainly be able to supply fish for Trinidad and Tobago and maybe as far up the Caribbean as possible as well. Tilapia is at its early stages now, but the potential that it has is really, really significant.